Hey, I am standing in this house in Stony Plain at Genesis Lake. So if you've heard about Genesis Lake, you're gonna wanna tune in to learn all about this neighborhood and to find out how you can buy here. So Genesis Lake is actually located on the southern tip of Stony Plain. It's a little bit more offset and it's a very quiet neighborhood. This house specifically that we're standing in backs onto a field and it actually fronts onto some future walkout lots, but also has that walking path to the lake. So you can kind of take your time and enjoy the quietness of being kind of like in the country, but with all the amenities still of city living. So close to Stony Plain, it's 25 minutes west of Edmonton, and you have a high school nearby here as well. But if you go into Stony, which is only like five minutes, I just gonna say go into, you are already in Stony, but just drive five minutes, you'll get every kind of grocery store that you can get, look for. So you've got Safeway, you've got Freezing Brothers, and there's lots of amenities here. And Spruce Grove is not that far away. I don't know if you noticed, but Stony and Spruce Grove kind of can't even tell anymore when you're exiting and entering one because they've kind of almost merged into one. And there's a ton of amenities in Spruce if you can't find what you're looking for in Stony Plain. Now, why do people move to Stony Plain? Stony Plain is that small town feel that people want, but you can see this home that I'm in, you're still getting luxury living without the price tag of being in the city. So you kind of have the best of both worlds where you get to enjoy the quietness, you still have the close conveniences if you do work in the city, but you get to get this home at a much lower price than if you were to buy this house in the city. All right, so if you have young family, is there things for you to do in Stony Plain or is it just a small town with lots of driving? Actually, there is a park nearby, the Westera uh, Playground is really close, it's the next neighborhood over. You've got the Rotary Park, and for all you golfers, you're only five minutes from the Stony Plain Golf Course. So you definitely can go hit some balls on the driving range or go for 18 holes or maybe nine holes. You definitely are very close to things, especially when it's nice and warm. You can take advantage of all the green walking paths, playgrounds, so much green space. And that's a nice thing. When you are in Stony Plain, things feel a little bit more spread out. You're not so congested like you are in the city. And if you wanna keep driving into Spruce Grove, of course you have the Tri-Leisure Rec Center. So there's definitely a lot of things for a family to participate and do things in. There's lots of things you can do in this specific neighborhood. Your kids can just ride their bikes out front. They can take the walking paths and take the bikes there. There's definitely a ton of things to do. This house specifically was actually the previous show home for Alquin. So Alquin is a really well-known builder and very high quality. This home is beautiful and it's of no exception. This used to be the show home, so it has all the bells and whistles in this house. Now I'm standing on the main floor. It has engineered hardwood flooring. You've got a gas fireplace in the living room. Now this house, when you stand in the home, it feels so grand. Sometimes videos and photos can't capture the grandness of it, so you're gonna have to come in person to check this home out. It does have the nine foot ceilings. It's got the coffered ceilings in the dining room, which just adds that element of elegance. The dining room area is actually very large. You can fit a bigger table than this, but this table has, is an eight seater and there's still a ton of space around, plus you've got the buffet hutch. Now the island in the kitchen is something else. It is massive. You have tons of space for your buffets that you want, or maybe your kids want to sit up there to eat on breakfast and you don't want to mess up the table. This quartz um, island is has undermount sink. It's got really, everyone says everyone has a chef's kitchen, but this is actually a chef's kitchen. It is just very luxurious. So take a look at your cooking area. You have an electric stove top. It's all stainless steel appliances in the kitchen, including the hood fan. You've got this low profile, but elegant looking backsplash. The tile backsplash is subway tile, but it's in that chevron style or the herringbone. It's very nice, very subtle, and it just goes really well with the entire kitchen. This house has white kitchen cabinets, which is still very high on everybody's wish list, and this definitely has it. Not only is it got the white, it also is wood dovetailed drawers and has a soft close. So you've got all that beauty in there. This kitchen, I don't know why you wouldn't love just being in here all the time. You also have a walk-through pantry with MDF shelving, and there's tons of space in there. There's a lot of space in that pantry, and then it goes to the mudroom. So this house definitely has a gorgeous kitchen, and that's like the jewel of this house. 
and you can overlook your backyard. Your backyard has a nice like gazebo on the deck. It's got composite uh, decking and then you've already got it fully fenced and it's very private. It's a lot, nice wide yard as well. In the living room, you can also see the backyard. In the living room, I mentioned earlier that you have the gas fireplace and it's got this special tile that looks like brick, but it is tile. And then you also have a ton of space for seating. So if you wanna use it as a seating area, if you wanna hang a TV above the fireplace, it's all there for you to do. Now on the main floor here, we also have a main floor office. So right off the front door, you have a nice space to set up an office or a homework space, whatever you wanna use that flex space for, you can do with it what you want. And it's got the view of the street and the lake. Now, when we go upstairs, upstairs we have a great bonus room that has the vaulted ceilings. So vaulted ceilings always makes your space feel bigger and grand. And you've got two more bedrooms upstairs, the upstairs laundry, but guess what? This upstairs laundry is actually connected to the primary closet. Now there is a door lock so that nobody can sneak in that way, I did ask. And there is a large primary bedroom space and the ensuite is gorgeous. You've got a glass shower, you've got a standalone tub, you've got a huge vanity area that you can get ready at, and of course, the two sinks. Now don't forget, there's air conditioning in this house, so on a hot day like today, it doesn't feel like it's hot. It's actually a nice reprieve to be in this house. The basement's fully unfinished, ready for you to do whatever you'd like to do. But the nice thing is, they did finish the stairs from the top down, so you don't have that doorway that kind of closes the area off. So the whole main floor feels very open and let's not forget some awesome features. There's a three car garage, but in theory it will fit four cars. So it's four cars and because the third car bay is actually a tandem and it has a pass through. So pass through basically means that you can use that area as your shed if you wanted and be able to take your lawnmower out there instead of going around the house. You also in that passageway have a dog wash. Yep, I said it right. That shower is pretty fancy for a dog. Like, I mean, we were joking that you could also shower your kids off in there if they got too dirty in the outside. So you have a lot of benefits in this home. You have tons of space. That garage can fit that massive truck and all that storage. So you definitely aren't short for storage in terms of your truck or your stuff inside or even just living space. In Stony Plain and Genesis Lake, you can buy here.